Oh boy. Here we go. Another day. Monday. Uh, here we go, guys. Uh, turn this air on. It's actually damn near kind of hot. Madeline, what's up? <clears throat> here we go, guys. Uh, Derek McCormick, what's going on? Winter Allen, hey. Finally come in early this time. Cesar Perez, what's up? Let a few people get in here real, just real quick, like. Real quick, like. Sheila Neal, what's up? Monday. One down. Four to go. Live life, what's up? Domino, what's up? What's cracking, everybody? Super cool. Let's go. Let's do it. Viper, let's do it, dog. What what are we gonna talk about today? What has happened in cowboy country, cowboy world today? Cobb! I got two people, man. We got Cobb and we got Clayton Gaddis. I like those. I really do. But I'm gonna let some more people get in before I start running my mouth. Y'all know how I do it. It's Monday, man. We gotta kick this, we gotta get this party started off right. Cobb, I know it, I know it. I, I hope we sign both of them. I know it. Clayton or Jumpy Gathers. You know what? I like both. I'm going to say I like both. Um, I'm not on board with Cobb. Why not? Cobb's all right. How long you been in the league? About what? Seven or eight years? By over 500, over 5,500 yards. For getting in the end zone. That's a good thing. I think his veteran, his veteranism, if that's a word, uh, will kind of help our young receivers, even though we kind of don't need it, but, you know, that lets you know right there that cutting the muscle. John House, what's up? We're taking this cowboy in the house. Jeff, the president, what's up? You know, I kind of like the cop thing. He's versatile. He can run out of the backfield too. He's a he's one of those guys that can uh that can do something out of the backfield. Give him a year. Yeah, prove. Yeah. Oh, of course. Just a year. He don't need no more than that right off the bat. And he's a Green Bay Packer, too. You know, I can't stand them. Is this the same guy that caught? Now, that was Cooks that caught that sideline pass and, and knocked us out of the playoffs that year. Now, that, that was Cooks. I get them confused. Cobbs, Cooks, kind of damn near the same last name. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Cobbs, but I do like Gathers, though. I do like uh, Clayton Gathers. Clayton Gathers, young, 25 years old. Uh, he's an in-the-box safety. He had a, a total of 143 tackles in his career. He's only been—he's going into his what fourth, fifth year. Uh, 6'2", 220. He ran a 4'5", 4'4", 5 in his combine back in 2015. Uh, He's—he's a—he he reminds me of Palomalu a little bit, just a little, and uh, and Bob Sanders. Uh, he's an in-the-box safety. He's a, a, a damn near a linebacker. I mean, he can—he uh, can play up close in the box. Um, he can stop the run pretty good, too. Um, like I say, he had, what, 143 total tackles in his career, two forced fumbles, and no interceptions. See, that's what scares me is the no interceptions. We need playmakers, guys. I'm not saying he can't be one, but we need ball hawks. We need guys that can turn over. We need turn overs on his defense. Hitting in, being a box safety, that's all fine and dandy. Hell, we got those. You know, Heath is that. Heath can't cover, but he's good in the box. 
you know, so Xavier Woods, he can hit, you know, he's good in the box, but, you know, he still got to work on his coverage skills and, and Frazier and guys like that. So we kind of got that already, but uh, I think he's a little bit better than the guys we got. I'm not, you know, um, but I, what scares me is the no, no INTs, no interceptions. What's up, Cowboys family in the house? What you think about them two? What you think about it? You think we're going to sign them? Gathers and and Cobb. I mean, he's good at stopping the run. I mean, that's good, you know. I think we got enough of that, but, I mean, shit, y'all know our run defense is off the chain. This man, guys getting up the field. And guys nickel and diamond up the field, man. And no no turnovers, no interceptions in his career. He's been in the career, he's been in the league almost, what, five years? Going on his fifth year? Not one interception, not one? That scares me. That means he can't play on the ball. Yeah, they were both there talking to him. Yep. Cowboy 760, what's up? Yeah, I mean... Got to have a ball hawk. We got to have a playmaker. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for playmakers on the defense. We got enough heat-seeking linebackers. Uh, our defensive line is kind of coming along. Um, if, if they go ahead and do something with D-Law. But um, we, 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 need, we, need, we need somebody that can turn over, create turnovers. What y'all think about that? Cobb can get in the end zone. Cobb can do different things. He can line up in the backfield, too. He, have, he, uh, he has a career 370-something yards, I believe, rushing. So he can line up in the backfield, too. He's one of those Sterling Sharp. If y'all remember Sterling Sharp back in the day, he's one of them power possession receivers. He can run you over. Yeah, no interceptions. Yeah, man, you got to have it. If you're a safety, you, you got to have an interception. You, you already back there. So if you're a safety, you should get interceptions by accident, goddammit. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Shit. But I like him, though. I like him better than uh that other guy. Uh, what's his name? The guy that's always hurt and only played three games in his damn career. <laughs> Shit. Travis, my, it's all right, man. I just started, dog. I just started, man. Don't worry about it. This, this is, y'all got y'all got to remember. This is a channel where y'all opinions matter more than mine. Guys get on here, they get to running their mouth and thinking they know everything, you know, all this stuff, man. Y'all are the reason why this channel exists. Y'all opinions matter more than mine. Manuel, what's up? Yeah, I like them both. You like them both, John? I like them both. It ain't nothing wrong with going ahead and signing them both for a year. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He said Cobb is good, but will he fit well in our offense? That's a good question. That's a good question. That's to be determined. I can't answer that right now because of the simple fact the season hasn't started, obviously. Uh, we just got now with this new offense, supposedly with a new offensive coordinator, um, supposed to be a play guru. We'll, we'll see. I would, yeah, like I said, I would hope so. He play, he plays a little special teams too, I think. Running back, special teams. One down, uh, four to go. Jordy Ness, Miguel, stop it, man. <laughs> stop it with the Jordy Ness. Said third string quarterback. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go with the deck. I ain't even getting into that. I ain't even falling for that. Yeah, Jordy too old, man. <laughs> Slot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn good slot receiver. He's not as quick as he used to be. It take him a while. See, to be a slot receiver, you have to be able to get in them routes really quick. 
And I'm afraid with his age, he can't do that as well as Beasley did or as well as Tavon Austin can with his speed. You're going in the middle. Now, he's tough. He can he can take them over the middle passes. He got 41 total touchdowns, so he ain't no stranger to the end zone. So that's a good thing. I, I like the Clayton, uh, Clayton Gathers. I like him better than Eric Berry. I tell you that. His resume is a little bit better than his. I'm hearing he's like another Bob Sanders, man. Going after Sue? No. Nah, too much money. Can't afford him. Can't afford Sue. He got too much going on. Too much money, man. Martin Holman, what's up? Barry, Zach from. Oh, yeah. Stay hurt too much. That's gone. That's faded away. That Eric Berry shit faded off. Faded, faded off into the sunset. Thank God. El Chapo Jr., what's up? Appreciate you dropping in, man. Yeah, the draft. Oh, yeah. See, we're silent. We're silently getting guys that we need. Silently. All them big names and stuff, you know, we didn't have to do all that. We are silently, strategically getting through free agency. Signing players here, signing key players there, you know, re-signing this guy, re-signing that guy. See, all that shit, it don't look good, but it's it's good for us. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to iron out to be really, really positive. 630 yards last season, that's pretty good, is it? Was he a slot? Was Randall Cobb a slot receiver or outside receiver? That, that ain't bad. 630. That ain't bad. Cowboy X Factor in the house, y'all. Yeah. We just tread, we treading softly, man. That's it. I'm, Cooper has 730. And that was just half a season. Just think if we'd had Cooper the whole season, guys. I love that topic. We had Cooper the whole season, man. Oh, my God. And him and Dak, oh, man. He would have had well over 1,000 yards. Easy. Cobb a slot guy. Yeah, I figured. I figured he was. GK TV, what's up? Yeah, Cooper deserves one. He'll get his big, he'll get his money. He's up for a raise. They'll, they'll probably break him off. Maybe this year or next year. I appreciate y'all job. Hey, Chris Senior, what's up? Appreciate y'all dropping in, man, on my ride home. The traffic mix. The Jabroni Productions. The traffic jam. YouTube Dallas Cowboy mix. Yeah, raise and hopefully the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. Yeah, they need to go ahead and pay. Y'all heard he y'all heard D Law was practicing last week. He was involved if you will so that's a good thing Cobb only played last nine games last year how many total yards uh Cobb have anybody know somebody says six something I, I i need that confirmed and yeah, nobody signed yet they just kind of talked to him a little bit hopefully they'll go ahead and sign him i like them both i kind of like them both 
See, they, they know uh, Tavon Austin is injury prone, so that's why they're trying to bring somebody else in, too. <laughs> 630, I heard. Yeah. Appreciate that, Don. Yo, what's up, Juan? And Tyreek Hill with a child case. I heard they were talking about that shit this morning, man. That's crazy, dog. I mean, come on, man. You got to think. That's why you have a brain. How we use Austin this year. If Austin stays healthy, we can use him in a lot of ways this year. Special teams, uh, Z-back. Y'all know what Z-back is, slot receiver. <laughs> um... We can line them up in the backfield for a trick play. Special, especially in kick return, punt return. Cobb, nine games, 300, three, three TDs. That ain't bad for nine games, I guess. I don't, huh? For a slot receiver, well, well, for a slot receiver, no, that ain't bad. Stars of the boys, what's up? Yeah, these cats, man, beating their girlfriends, beating their kids. I'm like, if somebody, they mama, somebody ain't taught them no manners, man. <laughs> but I ain't gonna even go there. Who was hurt due to hamstrings? I know uh, Tavon Austin was out because it's growing. Growing hamstring is the toughest muscle to, uh, to heal because you steady stretching those muscles. Yeah, I stayed in Dallas. Well, outside of Dallas. I grew up in Dallas, though. I think we're going to throw the ball more this year. We should. We got the firepower to throw the ball this year. Hell, we about to have receivers out the ass if we sign Kyle. Shit. <laughs> but we'll run first team, man. So uh, they got to mix and match a little bit. Can't be too predictable. Predictability is what killed a Philly fanatic. What's up? Predictability is what killed us last year. That Linehan crap. Being predictable. People knowing my, my nine-year-old knew what we were going to do next. My wife knew what we were going to do next. Damn, Cobb had hamstring problems too? Oh, shit. <laughs> one, yeah, one way to win. Yeah, I, I think... I'm all for the run first offense if you got the offensive line. Offensive line is the first priority of a, of a football team. As long as your offensive line is is strong and dominant, you're you can you can pretty much bully a team where they can't stop you. Kind of how we were in 2016. Uh, but it, it is a passing league now too. It, I, I mean, it is more of, of a pass. I believe 40% running, 60% passing. It is a passing. People are getting down the field with passing, long passes. Um, that's what's, you know, that's what got New England down the field. The L.A. Rams, they were a pass, you know. It's a passing lead. We got to have that firepower, man. I think they're trying to, it's trying to load up on receivers, good, experienced receivers, try to make, that, make some of that happen. Play action bootleg. Yeah. Yeah, receiver depth. Yeah, it's all about depth. Gotta have that depth. And we getting these we getting these players to cheat. You know what I mean? So that that's what that's what that's the plus for us. I wasn't even on that live stream, man. I was trying to get in, but Mark, Mark Holmes, he uh he shot out to me or whatever, but um, you know, I was too late. But, uh, yeah, I would love to work with them fools, man, every now and then, you know. Mark's a cool dude. Foots, I, li I like Foots, and E2 Blue's a good guy, too. If we can get Sue on the deal, would would be nice. Nah, it, yeah, it'd be nice in a perfect world, but Sue gonna want too much money. We ain't trying to. Cowboys don't like paying defensive players that much money. They just don't. If that was the case, they would have signed D-Law by now. They don't like it. 
they 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 didn't want to sign Dion back in the day. But I mean, how could you not sign him? Jerry just said, hey, Steven, Steven Jones did not want to sign Dion. I mean, they they went they almost went to blows. Steve, Steven Jones pushed that fool up against the wall. Pushed Jerry Jones up against the wall because Jerry went behind everybody's back and signed Dion. Jerry was like, I know what I'm doing, man. We got a Super Bowl out of it. So it worked. But yeah, they uh Cowboys don't like signing giving big money to defensive guys. El Chapo, happy birthday, bro. I'm sorry, man. I missed it. Michael Stansberry, what's up? You think we need a safety? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. We need somebody back there with, with, with experience. We need a ball hawking safety back there. A playmaker. I don't know how many times I, I need to stress that to the Cowboys. They need a playmaker back there. Everybody can, it's good. Everybody can hit. They need to learn how to wrap up. But you need, you got to have somebody back there that can make a play on the ball. Be a playmaker on defense, basically, what I've been preaching over and over and over. Pay loans. Yeah, some players, some players you just got to go ahead and pay. Just go ahead and pay them, man. Because you're not, you're not for certain that you're going to find somebody else out there really quick that can set an impact right now. And we're almost there. That's my thing. If you get somebody else, you'll be going back to the drawing board. Clayton Gathers, yeah, he's a um, he's a very aggressive safety. He's a bo in the box safety. Um, he he plays on the run very well. Uh, he al he almost reminds me of uh, Bob Sanders, a little bit of Darren Woodson. I, I hate to put those same names. Darren Woodson was a legend, Hall of Famer, Ring of Honor guy, uh, one of the best safeties ever played the game. Darren Woodson can pretty much do it all. He can uh, he could cover and he could. He was a damn good 4-6 in the box safety. Uh, that's how they say this guy is Kyle, uh, not Kyle, but uh, Clayton Gathers. He's a, he's a. I, I watched him as highlights. He's a hell of a tackler. He's 6'2", 220. He's got a good size, so he can go up and get it. He ran a 4-4-5-40 four, four, at, at the combine back in 2015, uh, which wasn't that long ago. Uh, going into his what fourth, fifth year. Um, Total 143 tackles, two forced fumbles. But the thing that scares me, and I've already said this when I first got on live, uh, is his his pass coverage ability. He ha he doesn't have an interception. He doesn't have an interception at all. That's what scares me. I, I, you can't. It's impossible for you to be in the league that long and not have one interception. <laughs> That's just. You, you, you can exit, like I said earlier, you can accidentally get a damn interception from a tip pass or something. So that lets me know right there that his, his playing on the ball skills are not there. Darren Wilson, yeah. That was the only team he played for, I believe. <laughs> Shit. Cowboys trying to make some silent moves, though. That's good. That's good. You can't catch, yeah. Once that ball, when you're a defensive play, defensive back, especially for cornerbacks, once that ball is in the air, you turn into a wide receiver. You turn into a wide receiver. That's just bottom line. <laughs> that person that you're guarding. Oh, that zone that you're covering does not exist anymore when that ball is in the air. You go after the ball. Rod Smith. Oh, boy. Get rid of Rod Smith. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. He just can't hit them holes like Zeke, man. You can, Rod, Rod Smith, when you get him in a rhythm, you know, he's cool. But uh, he, he shows out in the preseason, but when it's time, the best thing about Rod Smith is his, his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield. That's what I like about him. You know, he's a, he's a kind of a tall receiver, 
has an upright style like Eddie George. Um, he can run, get him in the rhythm, he can run, you know, reps. Now, obviously, he's not going to get that many reps with Zeke on running the show with the best, arguably the best running back in football. Uh, but he's just, um, I don't know. He just hasn't been consistent, consistent. That's the key word for the Cowboys this, this season, consistency. North and South. CJ Anderson for a backup. Oh, shit. That, man, he'd be great. But he think he's a uh, Barry Sanders. You know, he want to get paid. And he's a backup. He did pretty good against us last year, though. We couldn't stop him. We didn't have an answer for him. So, and that that that's all with being young and not being able to wrap up. Got to wrap them guys up, man. You can't tackle nobody without wrapping up anymore. Guys are too... You know, shit. They know how to break them tackles now. Yeah, it was very frustrating. We couldn't wrap that guy up, and it had a lot to do with uh, the tackling. Dutchman was on the, on the sideline a lot that game, and we were like, okay, where is LVE? Because Sean Lee was out there. Sean Lee was out there missing fucking tackles because Sean Lee's not hundred percent. I'm like, if you if you're I, I love Sean Lee. Um, I, if, your, if your injuries, if your conditions are hurting the team, it's time to go, you know? Same thing if Witten come back and, and, and fuck everything up. Like, say, man, you need to, you, you, you either should have stayed gone or it's time for you to go. Cowboys should draft the safety. Um... They probably could still draft the safety even if they sign uh, Clayton Gathers. Just in case. Yeah, um, Witten. Uh, that's Jeff Heath. Yeah, Jeff Heath don't wrap up. Like I said uh, last week, Jeff Heath, uh, he almost hurt himself one play last year because he didn't wrap up. He almost got a concussion. He probably did. They probably just let him get away with playing. But uh, yeah, he had to come out for a couple of games because he hurt his neck. And I think he had a concussion too because he didn't wrap up. He's trying to hit somebody. Like, you got to wrap up, man. They calling penalties and shit now without Brandon Gaming guy. What's up? Who should we get rid of? I don't know. Um, I really don't like to for anybody to lose their job, but you know, we, we, that's something we got to see. Training camp start. Witten wants to coach. Well, if he wants to coach, he should have just came back as you know, and maybe Witten won't even play. See, that's my thing with Jason Witten. Um, there's a lot of people that were. We're, we're crying and upset about that guy coming back. And I, you know, I was like, uh, damn, Witten, uh, I, well, I, if you think you still got something, come on, you know, there ain't nothing I can do about it, you know. And I can't, like, I, like I've said a million times before, I can't call and say, hey, man, you, need, you, you can't come back. You know, how small-minded would I be? I can't do that. I don't know him personally, so and he, if I did, he'd probably say F you, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, him coming back, I, uh, he, he's probably going to be a situational guy. We probably won't see that much of him. Like, seriously. I, I doubt if he starts. Um, I, I just think he's going to be one of those guys that come in on third down or, or red zone and goal line, you know, just to help us get in the end zone. If he can do that. I don't, we don't, I don't know. That's, that's to be determined. That's just what I think. I may not be right, but that, that, that would probably be in the best interest of the Cowboys to, to, to treat him coming back like that. Don't let him start. You still let, you know, Jaren and, 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 and Schultz do their thing, you know, because they were developing. And you don't want to start with and then put them on a the back burner like they wasn't developing at all. You know, that, that ain't cool. Sue. Oh, man. One more Sue commercial on the screen. Uh, Sue's too expensive. We can't afford him. 
Apollo, what's up? And he won't come to Dallas anyway. Right, John. He, he, I doubt if he come here. Yep, um, boo, Sue. <laughs> oh, shit. So y'all think we're going to sign them guys, man? The, the, the Cowboys talk to today, Gathers and, and Cobb. Warren Johnson, what's up? Stop talking about Sue already. <laughs> shit, I know, right? I think they do it on purpose to fuck with me. Hopefully we sign both. Yep. Yep. That's uh Whitney should never retire. Yeah, when when if Whitney wanted to play, he should have just stuck around until until now, yeah. Then now retire, you know. Cause we so needed him last year. Cause we couldn't get in the end zone. We had no answers in the red zone. None. We had a hard time getting in the end zone. We need a, um, which I think Michael Gallup is. And tell me what y'all think about this. Um, I know Dez took a lot of criticism because he couldn't run routes too too good. But Dez was a uh, power pet possession receiver. Um, he was that guy where we went to on goal line. We just throw it in the air and Dez would go get it over two or three people. Uh, we missed that last year. Uh, I think that's what Michael Gallup is going to be. I can see him being the next Dez. His style. Uh, just him, because he caught some, some goal line catches last year. Uh, I, I, I don't see Amari Cooper being that because of his speed and agility. Um, he doesn't seem like a power position. He, I mean, a uh, power possession power receiver like that uh he seems like an open field receiver go get him you know for the big play shoot, throw it up he'll go get it but physically in the red zone like that i'm not saying amari cooper can't i'm just saying that uh michael gallup is probably better for that gallup is the next day as yeah I, I can see that. I met Gallup at the movie theater at Frisco. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, Gallup gonna yeah, Gallup gonna be all right, man. I like Gallup, man. That was a good pickup. Dak overthrew him a couple of times, but I think I think they'll 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 be all right. See, Dak can't overthrow Amari because Amari go get up under that, but he got the speed to get up under it. I passing, I, I, I receiving core is gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty awesome next year. I, I, I'm serious. That that's gonna be, man. Dallas got to think outside the box and start passing more. Galloping Dak. Okay, cool. That's what I'm talking about. They should be working right now. Right now. If you're dedicated to, to, the, to your job, you do anything it takes to get better. I hope so, man. Fabian, I hope so, my bad. I hope so, man. I, I would love to see him. I think he could start. I really think Clayton Gathers could start at safety. Yo, Chopper, I appreciate it. That's like I've been going live lately, been, 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 you know, <laughs> in my videos, doing my regular videos. I like to hear y'all's opinion, man. Like I say, this channel is for y'all, uh, where y'all opinions matter. Matter. I try to I try to get to all y'all's comments. I try to love to improve Lyle Collins' position. I think Lyle need to go back to guard. They should have kept Lyle at guard, man. We would be unstoppable, man. I, 
I uh, Lyle Collins should have stayed at guard. He was a man. He was a beast at guard. Appreciate it, Don. Yeah, man, I didn't like the live at first, you know. But um, I got people y'all like y'all positive people like y'all to talk to. It makes it go a lot smoother. It makes it go a whole lot smoother. NC's biggest cowboy fan. What's up? Sorry I'm late, but did we make an offer? I don't, I don't think we made an offer. Somebody in the comment section would have said that by now. I'm driving, so I, I can't. I don't know if we made an offer or not. I know the Cowboys brought those two, let those, brought those two guys in, uh, and talked to them. So hopefully they're negotiating something behind the scenes, and hopefully we'll hear something by tomorrow. Prescott going to good things usually happen. Oh yeah. Well, uh, Prescott's a, when 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 they allow Dak Prescott to take to get to take matters into his own hands, we do a lot better. We do a whole lot better. Everybody seems to like these two. Everybody seems to like what we're doing. That that's the most important thing with the uh, Cowboys. Everybody seems to like what we're doing. You know, you got you got just a few fans out there that are like, oh, we're not doing anything. What's going on? Everybody's making big moves. Everybody's signing. Um, but you got to admit that what we're doing, the re-signing and, and the silent killing that we're doing uh, with, with in free agency is has been better for the team. Uh, guys, we were, say this again, we were two games away from the Super Bowl last year. Uh, playoff team, NFC East champs. Uh, we need just a few pieces on the defense, and maybe a few pieces on the offense, and we would have been in the Super Bowl. All eyes on the Cowboys. <laughs> yep. Trying, everybody trying to figure out what we're gonna do. They, they really, they really focusing on the draft. That's what the Cowboys are really doing, especially not having that uh, first-round pick. They're, they're really doing something. They're going to come up with something to surprise everybody watch. I got a feeling. They got a habit of doing that. Yeah, Eagles will be the team to be. Yeah, they're gonna be, the Eagles going to have a good team, man. They're going to have a good team next year. They let their best quarterback go, but, you know, that's, that's just my opinion. I may be wrong, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, they, they, they're going to give us a, a, a hard time in NFCs. <laughs> you said I can't apply what I don't know. I hope so. We need him. I think Cobb, I, uh, we, we need a guy like Cobb. We need a veteran receiver out there. Uh, that knows how to get open, you know. Amari Cooper is a is a great route runner, but he's still young with 24 going on 25. Um, he's a great route runner. Uh, he's already proven himself. Uh, Michael Gallup is is getting better. Uh, he'll be better next year. But just having him in there with the departure of Cole Beasley uh, makes up for it. And then Tavon Austin too. So uh, I I don't think I think they know that Tavon Austin is kind of fragile. Uh, so they gotta, they gotta find somebody to, 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 you know, to alternate that slot receiver. We signed another DE. I don't know we signed a tackle, Covington from the Texans, which, which was another good signing, another good free agent signing, a quiet, shh, keep it on the down low signing. All these, all these signings we're doing are keep it on the down low signings. That's what they that's what that's what that's what we're doing. This ain't free agents for, for the Cowboys. It's keep it on the down low. Shh. Keep it on the down low. Yeah, Austin. Oh yeah. Austin's a burner. You see what he did against the Giants? Burnt all them fools. <laughs> Got behind that defense with the quickness.
We just signed who? Nathan. Thomas Garrett, what's up? Who's our next head coach after Garrett? Um, it's rumors of old boy from the Saints. What's his name? Um, somebody help me. I can't think right now. Oh, oh Chris Rashad. Yeah, Chris Rashad, maybe. Shit. Sean Payton, there you go. Sean Payton used to coach with us back in the day in the Parcel days, so. Building, what's up? Often. You know what? I'll do the best I can. We were supposed to go live uh, this Saturday, the round table crew, but uh, everybody had a lot of shit going on. Hell, I was tired, man. I had, oh my God. We, we were out, the family, we were out the whole Saturday, that, that whole day, you know, shopping and doing stuff. And then Sunday, I had to help. I had to help family member move some stuff, so I had a busy weekend. Live like 95. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to go live, man, but that didn't, and we human hell. Everybody was tired and busy, but we're gonna try to get it this, this, uh, this Saturday. Like the Saints will win the Super Bowl, then the Cowboys. Nah. Uh, man, we whooped the Saints ass last year. Remember that? <laughs> I had all these Saints fans at my job, man. Talking about who that? Coming and talking about who that? Right before we played them, they just knew we were they were gonna whoop our butts. And then the next day, they were so quiet. Oh my God, you didn't see them. Don't worry about it. What's up? <laughs> Eagles don't want to see us. Yeah, man, we uh we sweeped them last year. They love they one championship, boy. They act like that's more than five. They rebuttal to our five is well. You guys haven't won one since '95. Okay, well shit, y'all ain't won one period. <laughs> Shit. All right, what's up, Texas? It's all right, man. Can't complain. On this drive home, the traffic ain't treating me good. Shit, traffic always. Traffic damn near like California. Like that 101 Hollywood Freeway. Eagle sign who? Oh, okay. That's all right. They can sign whoever they want to. We still gonna give them a run for their money. I appreciate y'all dropping in, man. Cowboy signed who? Emmanuel? You can't just say Cowboy sign. You got to say something behind that. We signed a lineman from the Lions. Kerry Hyder. We signed Kerry Hyder. He had seven sacks for Detroit, then Torres AC. Oh, God. How old is he? How old is this cat? A three year deal? The fuck? No, nah, man. Somebody, that, that's got to be, that can't be right. He tore his ACL two years ago. How, how old is he? Anybody know how old he is? All right, Cowboys, y'all need to put that pen down. Shit, they signing too many people now, goddammit. 27 years old. And he a defensive end? Somebody said 30. Somebody said 27. How old is he? K. 
can't be three years, man. Tell me, tell me it ain't three years. Tell me it's just a year. Oh my God. It's three years to consider the vet now? Shit. Oh, it's a three year. Oh God. They must see something in them. I gotta go home and do some research then. They need to put that pen down, man. They doing too much now. I was talking good about them at first. Now they signing too damn much. Hell, if I walk in there, they might sign me. They say they're getting trigger happy. They're getting pen happy. We got old boy from uh, the Texans, Covington, to replace uh, David Irvin. I like him. I like that sign. I think he'll be all right. I don't think they need to sign nobody from, you know, uh, they need to wait to the draft. Sign somebody on the defensive line. They need to stop signing on that defensive line. That's just my opinion. Go ahead and sign D-Law. D you, you, you got Covington. Now go find you another uh, end. <laughs> they got to sign me. I know, right? They getting they getting pen happy. Sign Randall Cobb. Yeah, I like I like Cobb and uh Clayton Gathers. I like both of them. Eric Flowers and Redskins D Law licking his lips right now. They get pin drunk. It seemed like they are, man. Like, shit. I was talking good about them at first. One year deal, who? Oh, my, oh, one year deal. Okay, good. I'm about to say. No damn three year deal on no guy that tore his damn ACL, ACL two years ago. Oh, you good. You good. I love it. See, this why this is why this show is about y'all. So y'all can up the, update me on the way home. He had eight sacks in 2016 and towards the kill in 2017. And missed the entire year and played seven games in 2018. Had seven sacks, I believe. Uh, uh, it's okay. Marcus Callaway, what's up? Appreciate you dropping in, bro. Would, what would you pay Cobb? One year deal. Anywhere from about five million. Three to five million. He's a veteran, so I'd probably give him five million. No, it's a three-year deal, according to the Bleacher Report. Oh, Lord. Uh, please, with the Sue, guys. <laughs> no more Sue. We don't need Sue. We, we all right. Sue is not coming to Dallas. Nineteen eighty. Do you like our back QB? What do you mean back QB? I don't know, Mexico Ron. Sue is not coming to Dallas. Back up. Who? Uh. Uh. Um. What's his damn name? What's our backup QB name? Um. Shit. Mike White? No, 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 no. The other guy. Cooper Rush. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't like neither one of them. <laughs> shit. <laughs> 
Take a look at Julian Love. Hope Cowboys pick him up second round. Who's garbage? Oh, Chris. Who? Uh, Cooper Russ might. Yeah. Russ. I thought Russ was okay, but uh, I was Lord have mercy. He started. He got in there in that, that preseason game. I was like, oh no. Shit, rushes. Shit. Yeah, we can find a we can find a backup quarterback in the draft. Or we can find a veteran backup quarterback. That's what Dak needs, a veteran backup quarterback behind him. Yeah, Russ only had a few good games. Yeah. And yeah, he fell off quick. Robert Pattis Peterson. Robert see he the second he the 20th guy has said we signed Kerry Hyder to a three year deal. In disclosed contract. Oh shit. Here we go. They need to put that damn Cowboys need to put that damn pin down. Let it rest. It's too hot. Randall Cobb is gonna be nice. Yo, y'all, hell yeah. Veteran in the slot who know how to get open 41 touchdowns in his career. Manuel, come on, what's up? Appreciate you dropping in, man. Cobb would be nice, but yeah, I know. I know. I'm I'm I don't want to keep talking about these guys and we ain't gonna fucking sign them. They wouldn't bring them all the way to Dallas. They wouldn't bring them all the way to Frisco and show them the damn five Super Bowl rings behind the glass for nothing. Sign them. Those two, I won't. This guy they just signed, Hyder, Kyder, whatever his damn name is from Detroit. I don't know about that. Tyrod for backup QB. Coop, Gallup, and Cobb. Oh, man. Ooh, that's nasty. That's nasty, William Pest. I mean, Pete, my bad. Y'all know I can't see. That is nasty. Ooh. Yeah, they need to sign that dude, man. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, they need to sign. If we get caught, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I know, right? I'm almost losing my mind. I'm driving. They need to sign both of them, man. If they sign Cobb, they got to sign Gathers, man. Alex Pritchard, what's up? Boys for life in the house. I hope so, man. I'm starting to like it. At first, I was kind of iffy, but then again, I was like, ah, uh, veteran in the slot. You know what? They might do, do us some good. Tavon Austin can't stay healthy a full season. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring him on in, man. Seriously, go ahead and bring him on in. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Dallas Cowboys show. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, my, my, my boy earlier just said the same thing. That is kind of, that's kind of nasty. It ain't scary. It's nasty. It tastes real nasty. situation like oh yeah oh yep 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 see Cobb and then he can line up in the backfield too he got over 300 and something yards I think 375 yards rushing in total so he can do he can do a lot of different things man show different looks put him in the backfield on goal line they don't know what the hell him and Zeke they don't know what the hell we gonna do put him in the backfield and put him in motion oh shit they like oh damn what do we do what, who do we guard Gather before Barry, yeah. Oh hell yeah. Shoot ya. Barry's out there. Barry, that 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 name shouldn't even come up anymore. He was all American in high school. Who? Running back. Oh, uh Cobb. Barry's washed up in the front. 
Yeah. Oh, Kyle was all man. Okay. So he been in the league for a while too, since 2011. He got some years on him. I think he like what 29, 30. His car from Texas, I think. Cobb is 28. Oh, okay, my bad. I put two years on his ass. Well, that's even better. Everybody seem to like this Cobb guy, boy, okay? That's what I like to see. I like to see everybody in the comment, comment section in cahoots with one another. That makes me feel better as a person. That means I'm doing something right. Or oh, the Cowboys doing something right. I don't know, hell. I like it anyway. Yeah. Marcus, yeah, you're right. You're right. He, he's, he's really good at that. Super Bowl experience. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Randall Cobb is getting nastier and nastier by the second. Cobb from Tennessee. Is he from Texas or he from Tennessee? I thought he was from Texas. I might be wrong. I don't know. Whatever, wherever he's from, we need him. They need to sign him. If y'all gonna bring him all the way to Frisco, go ahead and sign this, those two guys. Yeah, we need to go ahead and sign them guys, man. Tennessee indeed. I don't think it's more of getting hype. It's more of like change, seeing a different. Last year was so predictable. And when you see different guys come in, they can bring something different to the team. I think that's what we're excited about. It's not that we're happy. Oh, God, this guy's going to, we're going to win a Super Bowl. No, it's not like that. It's just like seeing a difference in Cowboy, in the, in, you know, with the Dallas Cowboys, somebody different. And seeing what they can do in this offense, seeing how they can make a difference. Cause everybody knew what the fuck we were gonna do. College football team. Oh, Florida State all the way. My alma mater. Yeah, I was shocked too. I was like, oh hell yeah. I'm a defensive guy, so I like the other guy too. They, everybody say he remind uh, uh, gathers. They say he's a, he's a, another Bob Sanders. He's a, in the box safety. He's a heat seeking. He damn near, he say, they say he damn near can play linebacker. He can read the he can read the run so that that good. But my thing that scares me about him is no interceptions going in his fifth year. That means he's not a playmaker. He's a run stopper. In the box run stopper, but he's not a playmaker. That's that's what scares me. We need playmakers on the defense. That's what we need. Yeah, I said the same thing. I still want to draft a safety if we sign him, just to put some fire under people's ass. Because you're not gonna think you're not gonna come here and sign with the Dallas Cowboys and think you got an automatic stun stun position. It ain't, it ain't how it work, goddammit. In my damn near 40 years of watching the Cowboys, that ain't how it work. Yeah, we need picks, man. I'm tired of these guys coming and batting down passes. If you can bat the ball down, damn it, you can intercept it. When the ball is in the air, you turn into a wide receiver. And that's just the bottom line. I don't know what they teaching these damn guys or what they not teaching these damn players these days. Don't make no damn sense. If you can touch the ball, you can intercept it. Shit. Carry Hyde. Uh, yeah, I heard that for the nine million time. Oh boy, the Detroit Carry Hyde. I want Cobb so bad. <laughs> That'll be nice. You know what? The players that we want the baddest, we probably won't even get them. 
<laughs> and Jaren didn't probably let him walk. Because he'd probably go in there asking for a bunch of money because of his age and shit, his experience. And Jaren is going to be like, oh, no. Because they don't like playing defensive guys, especially defensive guys uh, with age on them. Uh, but what's called, he's still pretty young. Uh, yeah, he's still pretty young. So, but Cobb, I mean, offensive guys, Cobb, um, I, I'm, he probably went in there asking for a bunch of money. <laughs> Shit. Give Dak a new weapon. Yeah. Yeah, I think he fit. I really think he fit, man. I think they pissed off about Cole Beasley, so they're going to sign somebody just to let him know that we can do better. They both left the building without a deal. Yeah, that's what scares me, man. But, damn. I'm going to stop talking about him, goddammit. No more Cobb. No more gathers questions. <laughs> Shit. Subject over. Beasley has sauce. Cut Hearns and sign both. They say, I, I'm hearing... I'm hearing different people saying put put Hearns in the slot. I'm like, y'all get trying to get that dude killed. Slot belongs to guys that's 5'8", five, 5'9", five, ish. That's quick, agile. It don't belong to guys that's six one, six two. That's long and lanky. And they, that's a big target. They don't get them killed going across that middle. We should have cut Hearns. Yeah. If they sign Cobb, they might cut him. Hearns was a slot guy with a jab. Yeah. I think Hearns should have got a little bit more reps in the slot, but, but you know how B. Cole B's are probably crying and shit. Rappaport just confirmed Eric Berry is visiting with the Cowboys. No! Let me exit, goddammit. I'm right here by Frisco. Let me exit and tell Jerry, say, no, goddammit. Somebody said, what? <laughs> I'm almost in. Then did I pass Frisco? No, I'm almost in Frisco, man. I, I can go. I can slide by there, y'all, and tell Jerry, no. Hell no. We. We don't want that jabroni. Uh, if we sign Cobb, yeah, they'll probably cut Hearns. I feel sorry for Hearns, man. He has such a horrible injury. Tomorrow he's visiting who? Eric Berry? The guy that's afraid of horses? Nah, I did Sign Barry, we can kiss drafting. Uh, don't say that. Yeah, skip. I skip Bailey. Oh, skip Sailors. I know. Can't be in Dallas scared of horses. Eight sacks in 2016 for tearing. Yeah, I know uh, everybody. The Eagles are favorite to win the division. You can be favorite all you want. Don't mean you're gonna do it. They said that last year, didn't they? They said the, the Eagles are gonna go back to the Super Bowl. They said they were gonna definitely win the division. And what happened? What happened? They let their best quarterback go. What happened, damn it? Somebody tell me what happened to the Eagles last last season. Wheelchair wins. I don't know if I'm too there. <laughs> oh, shit. 
fucking wheelchair wins. I done heard it all. They fell asleep. One Eagles fan gonna tell me on one of my videos last year, y'all. We got further than y'all. I said, what? What do you mean you got further than us, you dumbass? It was the same round, just a different day. <laughs> God damn it, stupid mother. He thought, I guess he thought playing, cause we played on Saturday. I guess he, I guess he thought playing on Sunday was, they went further than us. We went further than y'all. I see why you're an Eagles fan. <laughs> Shit, stupid. Good thing he don't get paid for thinking. God bless him, though. He don't know no better, guys. We got an easy schedule this year, you think? I got to look at that schedule, man. I haven't, I, I, I've been avoided. Is, is it already generated? I've, I've avoided looking at it. I ain't, I ain't want to jinx nothing. He said we lasted longer than we went further than y'all. Cause they played on Sunday and we played on Saturday. Poor baby, bless his heart. He didn't even realize it was the same round, just different day. Silly man. Some people just silly. They just don't know no better. Bills, Jets, Dolphins, and the Pats this year? Oh, damn. Them all wins right there. Even the Pats, goddammit. That's a win. I always have faith in your team. Right, we're going undefeated this year. Sonning Barry? You never know, man. I just don't like the injuries, man. I just don't like the injuries. <laughs> I know, right? Derek, my man, I just, I get. South of Heaven 88 is in the house. Bruh, y'all subscribe to him if you haven't already. The king of trash talk is in the house. The, the bum hider side. I know it. I, was it three years, man? Somebody said one year. Somebody said three years. I hope it's one year. Mike Marsh. Miss Thang. <laughs> What's up? Ain't got no choice but to be. Ain't nothing else to do. Nothing else to do but be a cowboy fan. Passionate cowboy fan. Oh, Lord. That's the third person said Barry meeting with us. No. I need to exit right now and go by Frisco. Go, go to the star. Oh. Watch, watch him, watch him sign him instead of instead of gathers, y'all. Watch, watch them sign Barry instead of gathers. Watch. Damn. I know it, Derek. Shit. I just got to talking good about the cowboy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, south, south of heaven. I he might be all right, but I don't know. Yep, Ian Rapport said Barry coming. Oh God, on on what day? Tuesday? Tomorrow? Oh Lord, I mean, I might need to take off work. <laughs> take off work and set some damn roadblocks up. Let me have my ass on the news arrested for the 
setting roadblocks blocks under up in front of the star in Frisco. Yeah, that that work. Yeah, man, it take me about now going to work. Oh man, I get to work in about forty minutes, forty five at the most. But come, going home, everybody rush hour, man, about an hour, good hour and thirty, hour and fifteen, anywhere from hour and fifteen to hour and thirty. It's it's a beast. Yeah, man, y'all might need to go ahead and get my bell ready. Because I'm going to set some roadblocks up and say, hell no, Barry must go. I'm, I'm going to get on one knee like Kaepernick in front of the Frisco, in front of them glass billion dollar doors. 1980. Hell no to Barry. DFW traffic, yeah, it is, man. It's damn near up there. DFW traffic almost up there with uh, Los Angeles, man. Shit. Well, it's greater than Prescott. All right. We shall see. Barry asking million a year. Man, hell no. Get your sensitive ass on some, man. Yeah, man, I'm going to get on one knee. Hey, hey what, what you processing about? Is it something racial? No. Is it, is it because of the government? No. Uh, is it because of Trump? No. What, what, what is it? We don't want Barry, goddammit. <laughs> ah! well, why you don't want it? I just don't want it. 13 million? That's what I was asking for, wasn't it? You're killing me, Barry. We ain't got it, man. Tell him. Like says on uh, Kings of Comedy, tell him we ain't got it, man. We, I, I put something on it. <laughs> no Foles, no Odell, no Linehan. We're going to do jail. Yeah, yeah, you right. You right, Mike Ma. Well, I got 82 people in here, guys, man. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all once again for joining, man. I'm probably about to get off this motherfucker. My battery about to get. Y'all know how my battery is on my phone. It don't last no more like it used to. I got it on the charge of YouTube to suck up shit dry. Somebody said Trump's a goat. Appreciate it. Tell Barry eight hundred thousand. <laughs> Tell Barry eight hundred thousand. Period. God damn it. That can't throw long passes. Who did he hit? Who, who threw them passes to uh, Amari Cooper last year? I wonder who did that. Did somebody have to stay in? Did one of the coaches, did Red J come out of retirement, put on a football uniform, and throw those passes? Who did it? in the back of the end zone against the Giants last year. Who did it? Come on, hurry up fast. <laughs> this is the channel where your opinion matters more than mine. <laughs> I did, goddamn. <laughs> James Gavin said, I did, goddamn. <laughs> huh? 
How late is it over there in the USA? Man, it's 5.30 here in, in, in the DFW. Back to Warrior Prescott. Yeah. John Jones, I, yeah, man, I'm trying. I'm almost at the crib. I got about 10. Well, I got to stop and get gas, so that's going to add to more. But I got about 10 more minutes, and I'll be at the house. Fort Worth, Texas. Hey. DFW Rush Hour, for sure, man, for sure. For sure. Breaking newspaper. What? News? What, what's up? What we got? I need to do a fan meetup. It's cool, man. Y'all let me know. Monroe, Texas. Man. No, I'm sorry. Not Monroe. Manor, Texas. My bad. I can't read. Y'all know I can't see. Yeah, man, I'm gonna get on up out of here, guys. I appreciate y'all dropping through, hollering at your boy. Remember, this is the channel where your opinion matters more than mine. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up all the way from Allen, Texas. Elevate, boy!